Oh man. There we go. We uh, out here. Yes. Live on Mike Robertson Boulevard. Thank y'all for waiting, man. Damn, we we've been out for like one week, man. I feel like that shit's been forever, dude. It's mm-hmm. first time all year, it seemed like. Fuck, dude. One week, man. A lot one of shit week. happened in one week. Yep. For real, man. What's up with y'all? Y'all good? We good, man. How oh, about yeah. yourself? Hey, we good, man. We about to get live with y'all. We about to talk about some fucking crazy shit. We are gonna keep this shoot show moving. I'm gonna jump right into it, Mister. Sure. Right next to me, I want to introduce the most interesting comic in the world, yes, Mister Melrose. What's up, Uncut. everybody? Nice what's up, everybody? I missed y'all last week. I started to call in on this motherfucker on GP. <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> Nigga, it would have been just me and you, <laughs> it's motherfucker. Just GP, nigga. <laughs> it would have just been let us the, too. Let the phone ring. Exactly. Nah, man. It's beautiful to be back. Look, the phone number is 323-293-3375. Call in right now, man. Hell yeah. Look, just so y'all know I'm getting old, man. I literally have to look at this fucking paper every time I read the number, dude. Mm-hmm. A nigga would have remembered that shit by heart. Yeah. You losing After your old the school second swag. Second time, man. I know I'm losing, losing my old school. Back in the game. day, that's all a nigga had to go by his memory. What's yeah. your number again, baby? <laughs> Wait, let me get it right. Two nine three. Yeah. Three three seven. I got it. Yeah, you picture yourself dialing <laughs> yeah. that motherfucker, dude. Two exactly. nine three. No, I got it. What's your name again? Now I just touched the button, dude. What the fuck? Mm. Send. We used to Man. have to scratch that skin in our skin, you know, like with ash. <laughs> ash. Yeah, nigga got to like. However, <laughs> like, man, it don't even matter. Hell yeah. Motherfucker you... got to tattoo his fucking number on him and shit, dude. <laughs> don't never change. <laughs> <laughs> don't be washing your hands, you know. Yeah. Be leaving from the Carolina West, like. <laughs> ah, nigga, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Then the cats have them all ashy ass black books and everything. Got to come out clumsy as fuck, licking their thumbs. <laughs> Trying to get to the clean page. <laughs> Trying to get to the clean page. Uh, exactly. What's yeah. your name again, baby? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they got uh, for cell phone. Old school. Old schism. All right, next to me, man, I got my man Dewan Brown from Sports and Things, funny ass comedian, blogger, yeah. and everything else, man. What's up, homie? Man, I'm good. I'm chilling, man. Having chilling. a good time, you know, doing Dewan my thing. Brown. Yes, yes, yes. DB. DB. Next to Dewan, I got my homie, um, old school uh, producer and drummer. And drummer is the shit that you're just the most gifted at, probably. But you do everything. Uh, that's my homie JMD in the place to be. What's up, y'all? What yeah. up? What up? This nigga is a funny motherfucker. And watch, he is not a comedian. No. But he's gonna have no problems whatsoever hanging in this game. He got jokes. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you know, I can remember a few jokes, but I'm kind of okay. like, you know, I kind of like light on my feet, you know. Okay. Ah, uh, exactly. <laughs> got that pocket though. You got that pocket? Uh, oh yeah, man. That pocket Every into time. tonight. It's kabow. Uh, Every time. Okay. And walk away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I used to roast D.L. Hughley's ass back in the day. He Is from that my right? Hood. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Speak on that. What you talking about? Uh, he from my hood. He stole all of my shit. What? I believe that. Oh, but he's much way better oh. than me. I wouldn't try yeah, yeah, back yeah, on yeah, it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but he from my hood, man. You know? Wait a minute. So yeah. we just got through having this fucking discussion out there, dude, yeah. about <laughs> jokes and motherfucking starting it and who runs with it. So you trying to say back in the day in what is this high school you used to roll uh, deal? Oh, in the neighborhood <laughs> before high school, I'm talking about. I remember where he was just running around the hood, had this little mark on his face to look like the state of California. <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know, he was yeah. still on him. before he was DL. He before just, he, was, his, yeah. he was just Daryl. Yeah, Daryl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we just <laughs> roast his ass. <laughs> but he got good though. He upped his game. His skill level had to rise because he was Have getting to. he was getting roasted all the time. That motherfucker is good, too. Oh, he's on yeah. another level. I got to give it to him. I yeah. want to come to roasting. He got you. Yeah, yeah. He nah, used to yeah. hold down that ca- that fucking uh, comedy act theater around the block, nigga. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. And he'll get on your ass for like 30 minutes, nigga. Mm. Like, remember? Destroy the room. Like, remember before he got political, he would have like 15 minutes of set, 45 minutes roasting the audience. And that's yeah, how I was exactly. every night. Yeah, <laughs> Off top of his yeah. head. Off the top of the dome piece. That's what was happening back in our day, though, especially from my neighborhood, just cracking on fools, you know. You start at your mom's and work your way on down. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, you know, nigga, mom. your sister, your auntie, nigga. Well, the first is like, well, your mom's like, you know, he just yeah. coming straight, go straight for the jugular, and then <laughs> yeah. just work your way down to the clothes. 
you know. <laughs> to the clothes. That's just part of the, <laughs> that shit just, you got on. That's just part of our culture, man. That's that's a way of survival, you know what I mean? Hell People yeah. say, don't bully, man. I ain't never had to deal with a bully. I was a fat kid. I had jokes, though. <laughs> ain't no bully where you can clown a motherfucker off you. Nope. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to be clown. Nobody dude. wants to be clown. Nobody wants to be clown. That's for fucking sure. Everybody needs <clears throat> to be clown, though. That's how you build your character, man. That's the man. truth. A lot of niggas can't take a... A joke at them, they get all discombobulated, want to fight you. But like, come on, my niggas nigga. are so fucking. I was just yeah. bagging on you, man. You I was gotta, just yeah. bagging. Niggas is sensitive. You gotta man. know you ain't shit. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then build from there. Uh, you apparently, know I mean? nobody ever told you. <laughs> you gotta nigga. know you ain't shit. Hey man, we used to go after whatever your worst attribute was, nigga. That's what we focused yes. all our attention on, yes. nigga. Oh, yes. You can yes. have a fucking grandma with one leg, nigga, and that's all. What about we your grandma about. though? What about your yeah. grandma though? That's we call up. her a spinner, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what about Miss Hopalong? Yeah. <laughs> boing boing. <laughs> boing boing. Talk about your acne, whatever we can get yeah, at, we gonna acne, talk about. It. You got that spot on your face. Oh, if you got whatever. a spot on. Yeah. Look, like he named, because DL used to have a fucking birthmark type shit on it his face. It looked like Madagascar. And, yeah, and they named yeah. that shit California. <laughs> yeah, it did look like the state of California. Uh, nigga used to have a little bear on it and a flag and shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he used to fuck him up. Uh, shout, out, shout out DL. He grew into that shit. Nah, though. It looked normal nigga, now, my nigga. Yeah, that motherfucker looked normal. He yeah, with that him. Little, little beard trying to cover that shit up. But, you know, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, really, man, DL, let's just, just on another note, he done. Only one is really kind of keeping it real, dude. He is. I'm, 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 I'm real proud right of him. I'm yes. very yes. proud of that dude because he, you know, he will speak for all of us and he'll keep it 100 every time. You know, yeah. I mean? he's not, not afraid. Let him off the hook. Oh, but look, let me tell you how this. Oh, fuck, man. I just saw this nigga, um, Dick Gregory, on Saturday night, dude, at the improv. Man, I missed that. This motherfucker, dude, let me tell you, man, this is the best show I have ever seen. Dick Gregory? Uh, Dick Gregory. And let me tell you, bro, it wasn't like laughs per minute was the most, where you just like, mm -hmm. ha, 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 But the nigga's so funny, dude, and he cuts so sharply, dude. Yeah. Dude, he had white motherfuckers were getting up and leaving that goddamn show, bro. Early. Good. I mean, he was telling the truth. Early. Oh, As they should. As they should. I ain't gonna tell his material, but nigga, he was nigga, everything. He was telling. Tell you ain't gonna. It. It was you ain't on the stage. You can it was tell just it. a cut, nigga. Sharp. Oh. Okay. Look. One. For instance, he was like, "Yo, you come here, black dude. You come here, sister. Come here. Hold up this picture. Open up a picture. It's a big ass picture of a gorilla." He says, "Well, they say we look like gorillas, so let's evaluate this shit right here." <laughs> How many niggas in this room got hair on their back right now? Stand up. <laughs> white man. <laughs> the white man. The white man. Look. I see where he's going with this shit look, already. already. <laughs> That's where he start, right? Then he says, look at this gorilla's lips. Them lips is paper thin. All my niggas in here right now with paper thin lips stand up. <laughs> the nigga, white no, man. Oh, nobody stood up. Then he hit him with this. Oh, it was rude. He says, look at this picture. Now, all my brothers in here, black people, we got long legs and we got short torsos. We tall as fuck because our legs long as fuck. He said, white dudes got the long torso with the short legs, dude. And it would just fucking just fit the po the poster that he had, dude. It was so. So you telling me that white people are the real gorillas of the I'm world? I'm just saying, if you're gonna call hey, somebody a gorilla, they the last ones to evolve to get up out of there. Hey, 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 George, just saying, hey, George Carl I'm, I'm didn't look like Marty Joe Young, like a white Marty Joe Young. Hey, <laughs> you telling day, me the Carl? white man is the real gorilla? I'm just telling you what he said in his show, dude. I had never heard mm, such. This nigga said, yo. you know what else he said? He said this nigga Trump is broke as shit. He says Trump don't have no money. The nigga said he done had five fucking Rolls Royces in his life. Um, Dick Gregory. Five mm. Rolls Royces and ain't paid for none of them yet. Mm. Well, he well, said Trump, you, Trump lives his life that way. Well, you, you look at, the, you look at this, let's go back to his bankruptcy back in 2010, 2011. He sold, he, like, part of his bankruptcy settlement was to sell his name to the Japanese. Like, he only owns, like, less than 20% of the Trump brand. Because part of the last, because he had four bankruptcies in the last 20 years. But the la each bankruptcy, part of the settlement was to leverage his name against his debts. So See, he owns like less than 20% of the brand. Like our president 
It's literally owned. His last name is owned by the Japanese look, and Chinese. Yeah, really. And Chinese look, are in bed with the Russians. And look, what other person that you know that's a billionaire goes around talking about, I'm rich, man. I'm fucking rich, man. They don't. I'm rich. They, they, do. Um, they never do. Baby. Not one, dude. <laughs> oh, well. Rick, baby. Rick, uh, Rick, Ricky Rose. That's about we it. They doing they, some they, nigga they, shit. They get on rich. Only, really only thing missing from Trump is the picture of him holding... Twenty thousand dollars, like you talking about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, but you know, like he from Tennessee and shit. You know what he said? But you, you know who his grandfather was, though, right? His how his grandfather amassed that fortune. He owned brothels in black neighborhoods. That's he was the guy that owned the brothels and owned all the porn houses and all the all the red light districts. Okay, but look, that's how they amassed it. Like the Rockefellers, they got money like through, the Kennedys, all like that. like like the Roosevelts. They oh, got yeah. their money through pimping. Hey, but look, Dick Gregory pimping? kicked this game too. He said, look. Ain't nobody, period, whatsoever in the history of New York City that's in construction got rich off the game except the mafia. Mm -hmm. Nobody, not one. Mm -hmm. So he says, is he in the mafia or not? Mm -hmm. I say no. That's what he says. Mm -hmm. He says no. So how the fuck you get rich in that game, in that city, and you ain't in it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna question. tell you one thing quickly, so briefly y'all tell, on Dick y'all Gregory. Y'all tell me that Monday ain't rich. That's what he trying to tell you. He ain't what we said. The, the he first is. autobiography, first book, first novel I ever read was Dick Gregory's. It's called Nigger, mm-hmm. uh, and I read that mm-hmm. because these white teachers was telling me I couldn't read. <laughs> <laughs> this is like in the '70s when I was in school. We had all these white teachers over here in South Central. They LA still do the same, coming shit. to save all us little black kids and yeah. stuff. But I wasn't interested in see Mary go and run spot run. And so they're like, well, get something you want to read. So I was going through my mother's books, and I saw, you know, on the cover it said nigger. I'm like, oh, let me get that. So I read that shit, and Dick had a hell of a life, man. He had a, man, he was beat down as a, a shoe shine boy. He had his teeth kicked in by a white guy, mm. you know, shining mm. shoes. Yeah. And years later, when I moved and lived to New York City, I was on a break uh, in between shows, and I went outside with my guitar player to smoke a joint. <laughs> and here comes Dick Gregory walking down the middle of East Village. Wow. In East Village, New York. And he's this is like my hero. This is like, right. you know, and I'm like, I got to join him, like, try to put that <laughs> shit out. Because I want to meet Dick Gregory. And I got smoke billowing out my nose. Right. Mr. Gregory, I'm, oh, yeah. I don't want to smoke with you. Like, it was kind of an embarrassing moment. Yeah. But I missed that moment to, like, really, you know what I mean? But. Very interesting read. You check him out. The brother's very deep, very heavy Man. cat. You know I'm I mean? telling you, bro, for two hours, this motherfucker, this shit I just talked about, it started off all funny, dude. But, like, with the last 30 minutes to go, motherfucker, it was just like, zip, rip, rip. And this something crazy. else we got, we got to know about Dick Gregory. The reason why Bill Cosby's on is because Dick Gregory was the first comedian that made the big money. He was making $5,000 a night, with, I think, got with Playboy. You know, because um, well, Hugh Hefner, is when I put him in the Playboy Club. Okay. Dick Gregory was the first comic that was make. He was making more money than Johnny Carson. He was making more money than everybody. This dude literally stopped being the most at at the top of his game. He was like where LeBron James <laughs> is now, mm-hmm. and said, "I can't do this." Dick Gregory, my, yeah, Dick Gregory. He was the first one. He said, "I can't do this. My people need me." Down south, we got to march. He marching with Mega Evers. I know. He marching man. with King. He's, the truth. Yeah. he's best friends with not best, but really close with Malcolm X. Man, and he left science, the game. That sounds and he what put, down on Michael Max, dude. But oh. but look, but what what put Bill Cosby on was Pilch. they were like we need. Yeah. <laughs> they we, said we need a black comic. Yeah, we need an opposite. We need no, 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 they need the opposite. They needed a black comic to fill in for Dick Gregory because Dick Gregory was missing too many dates because he was missing dates because he was too busy marching. With the with the movement, oh, and so right. Dick Gregory is like, I know this comic named Bill Cosby. Call him up, and that nigga, I'm too busy marching for my people. Yeah, and that nigga and got that's a what he mean did. cup of tea too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, Dick that Gregory nigga. also the one that uh, sued the government and got them to admit that uh, for the Kennedy and the King, the Kennedy and King assassination. Yeah, that's true. He's the one that filed the lawsuit that got the government to admit that they got rid of Kennedy and King. Shout out Dick damn. Gregory, Dick Grizzle, big time. All right, man. Money where his mouth is. So shoe shine, boy. Let's jump Make into it, it, man. What the fuck is trending? Every we talk about what's trending, right? What's trending, Mike? So it's, I have to turn my phone on to find. No, out. no. Look, I got it right here, right? 
Faison Love beat the <laughs> shit out of somebody at the airport. Did y'all oh, niggas see yeah, that? I saw that video. Yeah, I heard about that. Too. Man, did you see the video? Yeah, he, got, he whooped man, his ass. Yeah, he got his full royal ass whooping. Yeah, nigga, yeah. Kept calling him, <laughs> nigga kept calling him Big Perm, Big Perm, Big Perm, <laughs> Is big that what perm. he was calling him? <laughs> but no, no Faison Love said though on this video. Did you see the video? When I he, saw the little after shit. He <laughs> said the dude spit on him. So hell, if he spit on him, he deserved to get his ass And look, whooped. he was like, sometimes <laughs> a nigga just need his ass whooped. <laughs> and that's true. True. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was so. Shout out to all uh, the niggas out there that need their ass whooping. They ain't yeah. got it whooped Y'all, yet. You know who you are. It's your, a gang your of day niggas coming, that need their ass whooping, man. You don't, your people day don't coming. be knowing how close they come to an ass whooping sometimes, man. People I'll tell come you, real bro. close. They come close and you never knew it. My brother did me like that. He we gave me my rules. first real ass whooping. He said, nigga, say another word. I'm going to sock you right in the jaw. I was like, ah. <laughs> 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 Pop-tart, pop-tart. I was like, why you do that? He's like, nigga, you needed your ass whooped. Yeah, like, you needed it. <laughs> I respected it. Some people need it. Shout, uh, out, shout out Patrick. Uh, <laughs> Patrick with the right hood. All right, look, another airport story. Young M.A., are y'all up on her? Oh, yeah. The, 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 mm-hmm. the, the Edith super, Wide. Yeah, God. the super tough. Uh, ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That's that lady dude, right? The, Miss Strap on. Bitches she, in boxes. She, she out. bro or something. I right, look, young M.A. was at the airport and got arrested for having a nine-inch strap-on on. They thought it was a weapon. Bitch, that's Hold on. No, that that's dumb. I guess it was. What? She didn't have it on? That's dumb. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-huh. It was dumb. in her, it was in like, she it had was like bulging a little, like no, a, a Glock or something. It. First of all, no, she nine. wears it. No, she wears it. She wears the shit like, like, she like keeps a dick. That's that's dumb. But she claims that she can on, feel man. that shit though. That's what I the uh, puzzles me. It's like she be talking about like I I want bitches to give me head on my on my strap. I'm like, well, <laughs> why, bitch? Why? I might as well why? get some head on this microphone or some shit. Man, if you don't get sit this your vicarious why? living ass why? down, yeah, dude. oh living man. Shh. That's why I, I bet you can't make that motherfucker do like this when it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Like a real nigga make that motherfucker jump two times. <laughs> You've got no control of it whatsoever. None Maybe she got it. electrolytes hooked up to her heart <laughs> with a pulsate and she feel that shit and she got a creamy <laughs> substance technique. Oh, yeah. That motherfucker be squirting lotion and yeah. shit. <laughs> hey, Jurgen's dick. She got <laughs> she got the fully capable money. Shit. Hey, she low key called Jeffrey. You know, what's the dude? John Wayne Bobby's doctor. Like, hey, how'd you put that back how'd on? How'd you put that back on? Yeah. Can, can that work for women? Can that exactly. work? What's the hookup? Can I get a two for one discount? And they got the big vein in it. <laughs> I need that. I need that. Damn. Oh, That's man. She needs to be arrested for that bullshit. Is that a trip, dude? That probably nine a- inches, was it hard or what? Is yeah. this nine inches of lip or and hard? The, what are you doing out here? In the, 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 shame of the, the shame of the whole thing is, is she is really the hardest rapper that New York has today. I know, oh, dude. She's Ooh. the best they got. She's Ooh. hard. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's a, she is the best Your they got. Your hardest rapper got a nine inch fake dick. Fake dick. Ooh. Yeah. Getting arrested <laughs> at all times. <laughs> all yeah. time. You know what I mean? That used to be a pride getting arrested at the airport with a nine on you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, they got this other nigga down. Let me tell you, this one motherfucker I like from New York. Nigga only got one song, or maybe got a couple, but Remy Ma. this nigga named Casanova uh. 2X. Do y'all know this nigga? Nah. This nigga got a shit this. Ignorant. That motherfucker be like, niggas try to catch me in my drop. Niggas try to book me for my watts. They ain't know I had the Glock. Now everybody getting shot. Man, that's and the that nigga, I'm trying to niggas talking about other niggas real. know. Other niggas looking at me. Other niggas hating on me. You ain't got shit. Ain't nobody looking at everybody you or hating on you little bum shot. ass. God damn. damn. Niggas don't give a fuck. What happened to telling the story in your song? Give it the bubble. All right, look. What's up with the Remy Ma Nikki fucking battle, dude? It's just ridiculous, man. That's just hilarious. That shit is hilarious. I'm so disappointed in Nikki for responding to that shit. (laughs) With other niggas rapping for her and shit. That shit was booty, man. I'm sorry. How you gonna bring your crew? It's it's like having having niggas jump in on a fight for you and shit. Yeah, exactly. And you supposed to be going head up and your niggas is jumping in. And you still lost, though. But look, you still lose. Look, you and all the rest of your niggas But lost. look, it's it's like as as a girl fighting another girl and having your male homies jump in. Nigga, Remy Ma ain't no regular See, girl, nigga? though, my nigga, though. Don't, uh, yeah, don't put her yeah. in no girl category, no, my nigga. 
nigga. Mike, you you brought up a good do point because them fellas did sort of break a man law. Cause one of the man laws let the ladies be. Yeah, you don't get involved you get in female your business. To get in you, it. Yeah. you can't get as a man. You just don't get. If right. You let them handle their thing. Yeah, yeah, man. When you, you see females fight, fight female? men kick back, let them fight, and hope some titties fly out. Yeah, yeah. It, that's exactly <laughs> it. That's <laughs> what we <laughs> hope. <laughs> if you lucky, we want to see this shit going on and shit. <laughs> how did how did y'all feel about that original Remy Ma? Joint? Nah, see, I felt like she slaughtered her with a vicious body blow. That make you lose your air, dude, and you fall down and fuck it. She only hit you one time, but too hard for you to do anything about it. Then she came with the number two, man, and it kind of fucked it up, dude. <laughs> I, See, I I think that number one joint was was straight boring, man. Like uh, that track I tried was to, booty. Nah, I tried to play it for booty. niggas, and this is how you know when shit boring. Like by the eighth verse, everybody listening. And then niggas, niggas start talking. At the at the eight bars, niggas start Nigga, talking. That shit was hard I, to see. Dude. I, I, I she like it. Good, see, dude. This, this is why I she like got it. it. Real good. I like it because she got her on the ignorant tip saying I whoop your ass, but also on the business tip. When she brought up the three sixty deal, anybody that know anything about music know how them three sixty deals work. We yeah. got the daisy chains where this person yeah. getting yeah, paid. Yeah, you on a deal. I mean, this nigga got a deal and he got a deal and he the got same, and when you do the that, same deal every nigga got. Uh, yeah, but I'm saying that I'm saying you call that out because these are the same niggas talking about. So I'm balling. I'm this. I'm that. No, you're not. Nope. <laughs> you really not. You, that's yeah. what your name is worth. If you had, you probably Her have five percent of that. Though. Got a little. She, she got, got a little. She got a little. Uh, she got, after so long, she that three sixty yeah. chain nigga then yeah. linked up. Yeah, she you can't she deny that. Dough. It depends. She it got low dough. That bitch she might not get what she should have got, star, right, but nigga. she got like eighty million dollars. They say it depends. That I, bitch got I, perfume because Barbie dolls. That bitch got a bro ass. Making money, but not off of records. No, but when it, when it, it, but when nobody no, no, can no, make no. money off no, no, of records. No, no. You're right. Music is free. You're right. This is the worst time in the history of the world to try and sell some records. Everybody can go get your shit for free. And that's no music. Money is is a shell game. It's one of them things where it's a Ponzi. Where's the money? It's a Ponzi scheme. It's usually the artist is the one with the yeah. least amount. Live shows the only way you get paid. That's that's man. It. That's you get that and merch, merch. That's it. That's it. And mm-hmm. she world touring, my nigga. So she getting bread. Yeah, like, yeah. So she gets hey. that screw from that. But otherwise, shout out Remy Ma trying yeah, to jump on Remy her coattail and get famous, nigga off the pop star, man. Hey, we're gonna take a quick break, y'all. Hey, Mike Robertson Boulevard, live on MorrisMedia dot com. Hold us behind the boards. Take us to a brick. Oh yeah. Yeah. Man, y'all don't know how I used to kill the dance floor, baby. Hell yeah. Playing air Nigga. guitar on the solo and shit, too. Yeah, Eddie Hazel. Hey, man, I learned. Oh, no, no, that's, that's not music. Eddie. That's a uh, kid. That's, oh, that's, that's uh, Mike that's, uh, Hampton. That's Mike Hampton? Yep, that's Mike Hampton. I thought that was Eddie on that, on that one. No, no, nah, that's Mike that's Hampton. That's Kid Funk? Kid Funk. I love him on a maggot brain. Damn. Damn. Eddie love Hazel kid is still funk. the cat, though. Yeah. Regardless, but yeah, that's Mike. What y'all yeah. know about the original 15 minute version of that mug? Man. That's the only one I That's play. It's just in my phone. Uh, okay, we got some G's. That's the only one I play. We got play. some OG's. All right, man. All right, look, thanks for coming back, joining us um, through that nice yo, yo. little um, Parliament fucking George Clinton break. Yes. Um, That's a now crazy time dude. for a quick Mel Rose Minute. Mel Rose Minute. Uh, now, initially, we was going to have some uh, official shop talk. Um, I got some disturbing news today. It was about my dear friend, Auntie Fee. Now, it was said that she passed away. Now, I've been getting texts all throughout the show. She may still be alive. She, I don't, I don't really know the official prognosis of what happened, but I want to say, Auntie Fee, we pulling for you. We love you. Uh, you know, you're very special to me because you already know all the shit you didn't taught me how to cook. I can fry some broccoli For right real, now, though, nigga. Right taste like fried chicken, nigga. Yeah, I got a fried <laughs> cauliflower, nigga, to take like fish, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Straight up. So, uh, you know. Hey, um, hey, we well, love you. Aunt yeah, we're gonna put some some prayers up yeah. for whatever. Prayers the situation. up. Man, I feel great. Yeah, real talk. All right, man. So. Who knew? Who knew what, Mike? Who knew? The human body can withstand 45 dells of pain. 
What's Dale, a Dale? A Dale is their measurement of pain. I don't know what that stands for. It's an acronym. Mm. That was that non-singing white chick. Childbirth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can only take yeah, I can a couple of that. It. Just a little bit of that. Yeah, I, can I, mean, take, I can take. Ah. Three, I can take three bars of her voice. Yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> and that ugly ass dress too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for real. That shit bitch exactly. look like the jolly fat giant. Like she's eternally okay. pregnant with that dress. Man, can I have some milk? Green ass man. All right, look. So we can. The human body can withstand forty-five Dells. Childbirth. Raises the bar up to 57 Dells beyond what when people are humanly supposed to be able to withstand during childbirth. That's the equivalent of breaking 20 bones at one time. Mm. That's crazy. I ain't never thought about that, but that shit look fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, but being at all my kids' childbirths, yeah, I, I can imagine that shit. It's like, Man. can you imagine like... Is that the, with or without the epidural? Uh, without, without. Yeah, that's without. My old lady was a trooper, man. It was like she went without the epidural? Three times. Really? All natural. Oh, man. She wanted to let you know what kind of woman you fucking with. Like, yeah. Yeah, that shit you trying to put me through ain't yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. She just said, just try passing a cantaloupe through your dick. Hey, but look, Ooh, God, but look, okay. here's, 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 <laughs> that's nasty, the same. Dude. You, it'll be done, dude. It'll oh, be okay. useless. Hey, look, <laughs> what I'm saying, what I trip off of, like, if you if you shoot a lady, if you shoot her, right, with a 22, hmm. and the bullet go in her, nigga, it's gonna be anesthesia up the yin yang to get that little shit out, right? But to have a fucking baby, dude, with 10 pounds, dude, busting through your ass, and you want to try to be bad and shit and have that shit with no anesthesia, man? What the fuck? It exists. It's hey, there, man. Give it up to the ladies, goddammit, because I don't tough. Know shit. Oh, my man. God. Man, man, I couldn't do it. I had a cyst removed a couple weeks ago, and I was like, give me all the goddamn anesthesia you can get. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, thing. exactly. That's what I'm saying. All right, now look. Here's the next part of the stat, right? Okay. They said that getting kicked in the balls Bam. is equivalent to 9,000 Dells. I could agree with that. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah, cause, cause, hey, getting swiped in the balls is probably four hundred Dells. Shit, the Dells and the singing group, nigga, all that. You know it's a man. You know it's a man that wrote this though. This nigga said nine thousand. No, no, no. Cause I don't know if you ever had a real. Like when you're on a bike and then you Squid. fall, hit the oh. joint on the pole, oh. and that like seven seconds get the whole. I don't uh. think the Dale kick in on a ball hit <laughs> until like seven seconds later. Uh, after you cough, you cough first, dude. Uh. And, then, and, then, and then the pain migrates up to your uh, stomach. Oh yeah, the first you're, you're like, damn, then your the stomach ball is, is fucked up oh. for like oh, ten, six, seven minutes. It's delayed, man. Nine thousand Dale. So, dude. so <laughs> what birthing is, the child or something, but getting kicked in the balls is a motherfucker. What what about blue balls, though? How many Dells does that go for? Like, when yeah, you, that's, in, a infinity. that's That's infinity. a subtle Dell. I don't know. That's infinity Dells. That's some Sudafed Dells, nigga. <laughs> that's Shit. some give me a gun, don't, so I don't uh, shoot this. That go to your, like, insanity. It don't go to pain. <laughs> nigga, both. Nigga, nigga got the capability of letting that blue ball off, though. You can just... Get that, get that, there's self-medication for the blue ball. I was, I was in a predicament where I, I had no way to, you know. <laughs> it's I, possible. I, I walked all the way to this garage house in high school to try and get some. I was going to get my first little taste. I was this close and her pops pulled up. Oh. oh. So I had to like pull my shit up and try to act normal, sit all on the couch with all the plastic and shit. Oh, you're <laughs> done. Uh, you know, yeah, have the plastic seats. I have the plastic seat. I'm squeaking around in that motherfucker. And I'm sitting uh, there with three legs and shit. Yeah. So I had to excuse myself. Oh, like, girl, son, stand up. <laughs> I, I, I was just, and he was a big ass nigga too, boy. Let me tell you something. Hello. So like, wait, she lived off 157. I lived on 137. I had to walk. Damn. With blue balls, nigga. Man. I wanted to die, uh, nigga. That's why I said it's so subtle. <laughs> it's so subtle. <laughs> Did you have to hide the hardy though? Oh yeah, I, well, well, soon you're as soon as he under the belt and shit. Like, well, well, when that nigga came through with all that bass in his voice, my shit just said pew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
True. Hey, young fella. True. That wasn't, nigga, that wasn't blue ball. True. Nothing kills it like that fear, That was scary nigga. ball, nigga. <laughs> Big ass construction blue worker ball, dad. Blue ball don't go down. <laughs> oh, he wanted fuck, John Henry looking at oh, yeah. oh, oh, no, yeah. He had a big ass fucking axe and every damn thing. Hey, I look. Mean, like, ladies be talking about Viagra last too long. You want that shit to end? Scare the shit out of that nigga. That shit'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> I knew one nigga that actually had to go to the hospital for that shit. Everybody, oh, so Viagra? Yeah, you know, because all of us are, oh, my dick stay hard for four hours. I'm fucking the whole world. I'm just on the phone. I'm like, with no I, bitches I, though. I, hey, I'm still up. I'm still up, baby. What's yeah, up? Yeah. I'm still up. Just still blowing up, up. blowing up still DMs up. left and right. <laughs> you know, sending out pictures and shit. Uh, <laughs> but now this nigga had to go. He had to get a shot in the dick, and they. Oh. I had to drain the blood out of his dick. Damn, man. I so bet that I, shit wasn't never the same. Well, that's <laughs> a scary ass nigga well, right that's why there. I, that's why I was like, you know what? I'm never gonna. Try I would have let shit. my shit last, what? nigga. I, I, well, no, he, I, I never done it either. Though. He, he he was trying to get up on this girl. He wanted to make a everlasting impression, so he took like one and a half. Oh, oh, oh he went. He did some extra. O D on the V. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. that's like that's an O D V. That's an O D V. O D V. O D V. O D V. Is that a thing? That's an O D V. Well, you know his shit. I'm no Cyrus of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that. Can't do that. I uh, like it raw. Yeah, baby, like raw. <laughs> oh, man. All right, man. Me Next and one. Mariah. <laughs> Next one. Uh, who knew? Who knew that Metal World Peace still plays, dude, for the Lakers, dude? I just uh, saw this uh, shit yesterday. Yeah. He, I knew yeah. he was on the roster, but I don't know if he played. Yeah. He, ain't, he ain't getting in the game, but he hey, on the He was in the game, roster. dude, and there's some footage of him, like, getting spun around or something. Y'all ain't see that? Damn. Hey, man, shout uh, out to niggas out there know how to keep their job. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all the bullshit. This nigga, value, um, dude. Yeah, like, nigga. We got I could just house. run. I could just run. Uh, Stick some of y'all niggas during practice. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still valuable. We got uh, a clean house. <laughs> clean house, Magic Johnson. Help Ooh. us. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Funny. All right, man. What would you rather? Would you ra- Who would you rather see you get knocked out? Your moms, your girl, or your kids? Moms. Moms, I say moms. Moms, yeah, moms, moms, ain't, moms, moms ain't going nowhere. Moms, yeah, yeah. moms. I still love you, baby. It's okay. Baby, get up. Just raise your right you, you hand. Saw, you next saw that time. fight on HBO on Saturday? Curtis uh, Samuel. Yeah, yes, yes, he got yes. his ass knocked out in front of his mama. His mom was like nine feet. He was on the ring, on the edge of the ring, like <laughs> out on national TV while the mama looking like, oh my uh, baby. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> your girl, she she always gonna bring that shit up. Yeah, like, yeah. punk ass uh, nigga. You ain't gonna do that shit in front of yeah. such and such. Why you in Sock Jerome like that, yeah. nigga? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then your kids would be like hanging their head in shame. Like, daddy, and a shit. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Not even daddy, a bitch, but like, daddy, like. Um. <laughs> if I'm in, if I'm in a bind, Daddy can't do shit. Yeah. So this is like, like, God damn. Yeah. Give me them damn car keys, That's Dad. Hopeless feeling. Fuck you, hey, Daddy. These niggas tripping. You think we should go get Uncle Lamont to yeah. come up? <laughs> oh. Hey, when that kid turns seventeen, he gonna take your car. Like, man, you ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> yeah, you ain't about to do nothing, you Dad. Just, dad you stay ass. back. You stay back. I'll go talk to him. I knock your ass out like Henry did, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Moms for sure. Yeah. Uh, moms gonna help a nigga up and feed him. Everybody Unconditional <laughs> love from the moms. Choose a moms for that. Everybody choose a moms. Yeah. <laughs> Easy call. All right. <clears throat> Next one. What would you rather? Would you rather give up? You gotta give up one. Would you give up your sight, your touch, your hearing, your taste, or your smell? Which sense would you give up? Smell. Smell. You smell a lot of ass around this smell. motherfucker these days. Smell. Just Everybody smell. went to smell, smell. quick. Yeah. You know that like your taste is connected to your smell, so really they the same. You can't taste shit well, forever. Well, as long as you have a washcloth handy. Well, never mind. Uh, <laughs> oftentimes shit tastes the way it smells, so I just taste it. If I but... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of niggas forsake the taste, my nigga. Like, you gotta uh, be, like, tat, 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 tat. This is no good for me, right? Everybody here. saying smell. Now, maybe, I'll tell you, maybe smell. taste. Because then I'll probably start uh, eating vegetables and shit a hell of a lot more. I'll be uh, eating kale, kale, and, kale instead of honey buns. We got a thinking me? man right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you would never be able to smell your girl, dude. You'll never be able to smell well, fucking women flowers smell good. and weed. I'm a taster, nigga. 
Smell. <laughs> that nigga smell with his tongue like smell. a lizard and shit. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, you got that perfume on. I like gum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Obsession? Or your ass didn't you in the shower? I taste the sweat on your neck. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Mm. <laughs> Nah, I think I'm rolling with it, man. I think the worst one would be, to me, man, giving up the sense of touch, dude. Like, you're, you're basically suspended in fucking reality. You can't feel nothing touch you. You know what I mean? That shit would be ill, dude. Yeah, that yeah. probably would bug you out. That touch is very be. important. They, they, there was a study I read a long time ago. Like when There were some babies who, um, it was a, they had a situation where the babies weren't touched. As babies, ah, uh, yeah, and they died. Damn. Really? Yeah. The babies that were touched lived. The babies that weren't touched died. Wow. So touch is very, very important. Yeah. Plus, who touch. did that test? Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Obama. Plus, plus, like touch. Touch helps with diseases. You know what I mean? The people, the people get it all wrong when they always rubbing hand sanitizer and saying, I ain't gonna touch that. The more you touch and expose yourself to, the more your body builds up any antibodies against right, those right, things. Right, right. So touch oh. is very important. In cultures like in West Africa, where they touch a lot, you see diseases at a very at a, at a, at a minimum. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. In cultures where people are more distant, you see higher levels of disease. Niggas so people just go sit out, and just go sit on the toilet at the uh, at the restaurant <laughs> and, and touch sit a on gang that of niggas just, on the way out. <laughs> touch the toilet, sit down. <laughs> you can uh, live longer. Uh crazy man. All right, look. <clears throat> Interesting fact: hmm. the best person in your life is the one who comes first in your mind after hearing this sentence. What sentence, mommy? I just said it. (laughs) 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 Who came into your mind first? Nigga, I was waiting for the sentence. (laughs) Nobody came in my mind. You got to give me a better sentence. Damn, nigga, you are a loner. That means you got nobody in your life, dude. I think about my wife first, usually shit, but I was still waiting on the sentence, though. <laughs> Damn, man, maybe I read it wrong, dude. Fuck all y'all, man. Come <laughs> 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 <Some old. laughs> Nigga, look, the shit, it shit worked on me, dude, after I read the sentence, dude. Who came in your mind, Mike? I can't remember. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody he don't want to remember came in his mind. No, 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 no. No, no, it was a, you know, it was a blend, dude. It happened in a weird a way, dude. It was like my mom's. <laughs> But then it was my wife and my mom's, and then it was like, then shit just dissolved and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't skip All right, man, that shit. Since it didn't work, whatever, man. Skip we were about that. to play a song. Forget y'all. Look, Mike Robinson Boulevard, liveandmortismedia.com. Let's go. We'll be back. Who come in your minutes. mind when this song come on? MCs, baby. Da 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 da. Well, what it is, you know, they know what it is. What it is. Ecstatic. What it is. What, 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 what? Chicken barrel. Hey, Mike. Oh, wait, why you stop? Stop that oh. shit, man. Mike Robertson Boulevard, coming hard. Everybody know your boy never been scarred. Sitting on the radio, niggas be like, with Melio? Live on Morris Radio, 323293, 3375. That nigga Mel Rose be coming live, got feet in the booth. Yo, 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 yo. That's it. Mike What's up, Fee? I see my Hey, wait, wait, wait. I was she about got to go, bars. Man. Oh, Boy, this got bars? I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I do believe that. Hey, hey, hey. Mike Robinson Boulevard. Come on my street and I'll pull your cars. In my street, but it ain't no cars. And I stand hard. And I'm like, Lord, because I'm greasy. Come through, poop. Mm, I don't know when it's over. Uh, <laughs> yo, man. I'll take that. We back in this motherfucker, man. Hell yeah, man. Little segment, little segment. Yeah, a little impromptu hip hop, man. We just Shout like out that. to Poetis, though. On everything. I know. Huh? Shout She's out to the poetess. People don't know. Poetis you got bars running. like crazy bars. They don't know. They better go look on YouTube and find your record and know, play man. that shit. Ain't nothing to it but to step up to the mic. That's right. That's right. She could blow this shit up right now. I be feeling like I'm stocking poetess when I start researching her and shit. I'm like, calm down, my nigga. Like, don't Damn, like the nigga. pics, nigga. Pretend. <laughs> you ever had to stop yourself from liking a pic? Like, ah, I don't do it, nigga. 
unlike, that shit's creepy. That's 1992. Unlike, unlike. <laughs> <laughs> Triple tap. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. All right, look, man, I checked out this site. What site, Mike? A site called She Knows. It's a site mm. owned by a woman to help uh, educate women. So she lists 49 sex facts that all women should know. Okay? I picked a few of them. All right. We'll see how many we get through. Gee. First things first. <clears throat> a study found that men feel more emotional pain after a breakup than women. False. Yeah, that's like, kind of like it. I don't know, man. Do Cross. niggas be catching feelings? Only the first time. The first Ooh. time you love, and then after that shit, it's all rap. <laughs> <laughs> niggas no play too feeling. short after a breakup. Dude, uh, dudes uh, only man. get their heart broke yeah. once. They only get their hearts broken hey, once. I've after had that. my heart broken. Once? Probably multiple times. Nigga. Oh. Once, once by my teacher. Nigga. Oh, well. <laughs> you was never going to get that. Yeah. That explains looking up women's sites. Nigga talking yeah. to some real niggas. Maybe she's there. Oh, no, man. And that's that's what they say, man. Maybe niggas dudes be getting their feelings hurt. I don't know. All these dudes, man, these are real studies, man, where they fucking, each one has an individual reference, man. That's anyway. white people shit, Mike. All right, look. <laughs> 12% of adults have had sex at work. Facts. I thought it was being close to like 42%. Facts. <laughs> Facts. 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 I'm pretty sure that's fact. I, I, Not I thought it was at higher. work, but because of work. No, at nah, work. nigga, at, at work. work. Damn. Bend over by the cop and yeah. machine. My, I, my closet. I ain't gonna lie. Every time you go to a new job, you figure out, you look for the cuts. Like, who for the uh, well, uh, Just in case. Look for the kids. Where and who? <laughs> just in case it happened. I already got in the back where of my mind. Who? Right, and the parking lot I mean, don't count. <laughs> Not a parking lot, don't count. You see, you see that little room upstairs in the storage closet. That's got to be real, right? That's got to be real. got to be real. Barbara chair. It's probably more, right? All right, look. Um, men who have sex at least twice a week cut their chances of cancer in half. That's a beautiful thing. I believe thing. that. That's a beautiful thing. Because cancer, so cancer, cancer most people... Most cancer is just people holding on to issues and anger and stuff like that, and you fucking a lot. You ain't got much to be angry right. about. Right. You know what I mean? You go, you be like, baby, will you save my life? That's bullshit. Yeah, man. yeah. That's, that's like bullshit. That old that's bullshit. prostate <laughs> cancer and shit. You that's bullshit. That shit bullshit. Man, I think it's real, Melrose. Man, these I know are niggas facts. that have been doing mad fucking diet cancer, my nigga. <laughs> I know a nigga that never smoked a cigarette, went outside, and got hit by a tobacco truck. Man, that shit don't mean nothing. That nigga should have. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> Ain't that Robin Harris said? Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta go, man. Hey, like whatever, I, that's man. how I look at like if people like die for certain reasons. Like if you just walk in you're in a storm and you get caught in a storm drain, that was just your time because you knew that motherfucker was raining. Yeah. What the fuck you doing by a storm drain? Like like the dude who like started the jogging craze. Was everybody was jogging, jogging, and the motherfucker was jogging and had a heart attack and died. Damn, that, the nigga yeah. who created jogging? Yeah, the, the Mr. <laughs> the jogging. The slow run. The slow run. Yeah, the, 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 the nigga. Yeah. The he, time he, he started the shit off like in the 70s. That's Mr. Hilarious. Physical Fitness. Wow. And, he, and he died. He, he didn't last like Jack LaLanne, though. Well, no, that, that nigga, that nigga, Jack yeah. Lane, doing Jack push-ups Lane was, on his pinkies, with them nigga, white like, eyebrows. A, until that nigga was dead, he was doing right. push-ups and jumping Fuck jacks and shit. Hell like, yeah, man. man. Juice man. Hell yeah. What and else does white woman say, Mike? What man, else does white okay, woman say? <laughs> she says that um, there are five to seven calories in one teaspoon of semen. I wouldn't know. Well, that ain't my problem. Shit. <laughs> he said it ain't my problem Man dude Somebody might be hungry dude And need some How much calorie And vagina juice <laughs> Nigga That's what that's I what need to know <laughs> Nigga yeah. I'm, This is ladies saying it dude This well, is ladies hey, they, they need to figure out Nigga What's, what's the type shit They be them. saying dude It's a lot of bullshit know, Sucking man. titties is fat free <laughs> <laughs> Make you smarter too if the milk, if the little shit come out, it's yeah, sweet. Ah, yeah. uh, if it's sweet, it yeah, make you that smarter. Look, that's what I heard. That's my, guys' nutrients right there. My kids, my kids are yeah, pretty guys intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. God's greatest nutrients, nigga, is right there, and it's In free. The Just it's be free. scared when the juice come out. That means something in the oven. 
Yep. Nigga, I came around in that pump era, nigga. <laughs> Niggas that have backup in the freezer. Anyway, yeah. man. Yeah. I don't speak on that. <clears throat> <laughs> I had to go through the same shit, man. Really? Uh, my old lady, like, she be coming in the door from work. Yeah, um, like gore. She like be floating through the door. Titties about to explode and shit. <laughs> get the pump. Get the pump. <laughs> get the pump. <laughs> Double up. The pads ain't working. The pads ain't right, working. I could help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> what a smile. I remember one time I was at a party and I saw a lady. Uh, she sprayed milk on the crowd, my nigga, like in the club. Like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> you just, Man, get this lactating session. Yeah, out here. nigga, like <laughs> popping <laughs> bottles, like. Cause shit was, it was, it was cute though, nigga. Nigga, nigga was just standing there like. <laughs> <laughs> over here, over here. <laughs> Tupac Warren G was walking to them over. She was like, ah, nigga, was like, ah, give it to me. Nigga was throwing up. Hey, school. nigga was like, this shit cracking. <laughs> Bitches spraying titties, everything. Oh, man, Real that's story, stupid, though. man. Shout out Glam <laughs> Slam. That was at Glam Slam. Glam Slam. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, look, have, <laughs> hey, have you guys, are y'all up on this little phenomenon called these silent parties and shit? Y'all up on that? Nope. Basically, auctions. you go to the club, mm. everybody puts on wireless headphones. Oh, yeah, 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 and yeah. And they playing the music only in your headphones. There's no beats on in the room, and everybody got their shit on, and it's like, they be looking at the house parties a lot nowadays, so the neighbors don't so fuck with it. So be quiet, exactly. Yeah, so your neighbor party don't get shut down. That will be fun, I heard. That shit is, I heard it. I, I never been to one, but I heard that shit is like spooky, kind of like. It is spooky. How you talk to, hey. How you going home? Hey, hey, what's up? <laughs> Do you still get the hey, red light? Na- hey, what's your name? No. You can not, but think about it. You can actually holler because in a club you can't hear shit anymore. They, they got oh, the shit on. That. In a club you can't hear a goddamn thing unless you go out to the smoking patio. That's the part. You know that's I mean? the whole allure of being in the club. My nigga, shut the fuck up. Let's feel each other. <laughs> Dude, that's a lot shit of motherfuckers be, be like... trying to talk in the wrong. Like, come on, my nigga, huh? You got to be like, huh, huh? <laughs> Hey, Bitch, what are you talking about, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's dance. You dance. Feel I dance. my energy. Yeah, baby. That's it. Uh. We doing it right here. Energy in this room. When it's time to talk, you just be like, <laughs> yeah. And that's all you gotta do. You ain't gotta go out to the smoking pack. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Man, I'm just tired. Take of, your and off. you ain't gotta let. You ain't gotta. Yell, and you can okay? whisper. Yeah. But look, I'm whisper. tired of DJs getting over, man, on this fucking damn near, damn near playing Pandora or iTunes. And yeah, that's that's all they do now. Party, man. I hate that shit. And they, and what they do is they set the tempo. Like he's a drummer, like I'm a drummer. I feel tempo. So we, when I'm over here hearing a goddamn, when I'm over here hearing a Jay Z song sound like the Bee Gees, it's some, it's a problem. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're taking all the songs and putting them at 120 beats a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's some bullshit. Da, 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 da. It is, I can't do that. It, it, it may Get sound money. like a hate, but I, I I really hate DJs getting paid for playing other people's music. Like, uh. they created the shit. Like, they went to music school and composed that shit and sang and rap on it. What These motherfuckers sh- be making, like, $30,000. You got to respect the cohesiveness with a of face. a party that yeah, a nigga can I keep can the do, party cracking. I can do that, you know. Yeah, but I see, you're a you gifted, need thirty thousand. You're a gifted musician. I need musician. that thirty. You need thirty thousand. I'll get that. <laughs> yeah, you and need the, that. And there was once a time. But I'll that, be playing all forty fives though. But be, there was you're a, not gonna get thirty thousand playing forty five. There was a time when it'd take be, too long. It'd be mostly OJs. Though. Yeah, it'd take too long. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there was a time DJ actually had to have skill and sync the music and sync the music, and he was actually working. And now working you the put crowd together through the music. Now, now they didn't got the word the crowd. They just hit play, and it's some jack off saying. It's a party outside. Who's that dude? <laughs> that's, do that? that's Let's go party outside. They have the whole uh, thing. They have the, the whole thing set up already. They know they hit have play. the whole playlist. Hit play, and then they'll just touch some pads and scribble around. Yeah, and niggas like, be dancing. Shadow you know, dancing. That's, that's almost that's the equivalent Shadow to saying dancing. that you remember when a comedian had to be funny. Now, if you're a comedian, you you see a bunch of motherfuckers on a circuit that's not funny, but these are the niggas that's eating. They crowd controllers. You like, wow, how the fuck? This nigga ain't make nobody laugh, and it's a bunch of motherfuckers in here to see him, how and why. You got to understand how the game has evolved. Like, it's not, you know, you're an old school cat. You know how what I mean? How do a comedian do that and not get... How do you get paid for not making people laugh? I mean... You I get paid for bringing motherfuckers. Commercial. 
Oh. If you got a TV commercial, I, I, you If won't. I can bring 100 people, I can get paid. Wow. If I If I could be funny as fuck and I bring anybody, then that warrants no money. Damn. At the end of the night, what are, what are we splitting up? Nothing. So it's popularity, huh? It's whatever whatever oh, brings the popularity. people to the spot. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. that's in DJ. That's it. Even MCs, you're like, damn, this nigga can't even rap. Well, but well. everybody is flocking to this motherfucker. Why? I don't know. But at the end of the night, nigga, the club breaking up the bread, the bar breaking up the bread, like, nigga, everybody happy. Wow. You bring in the fresh MC, nigga, nigga spitting galore. He's spitting stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and ain't nobody <laughs> in there to watch the motherfucker like, yo, this. Yeah. T- right. Yeah, the, the, so bar is, the bar has been lowered for all the art forms. Yeah, like, even music. About, it's all about setting up. It's tripping me out that you saying that about com- comedy, man. It's, it's like, the same thing. It is the same thing, shit, dude. There's very yeah. few people that are gifted. Wow. Hey, but I'm about to play something. Um, um, Portis, can you pull up that um, last link? I'm about to play something, man, for y'all so y'all can see what some skills look like. Okay. Uh, he don't even know I'm about to do this. <clears throat> da, 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 da. I would do a drum roll, but then that's whack to do a drum roll to some drums. <laughs> this is my man, JMD, you're a, you're a drummer, dude, on drum the drums. Shit, and look, he's just doing a quick warm-up. That's what I want y'all to know. He's just sitting down like, let me just warm up for like one minute. Shout out to the real drummers out there in the world, man. Keep that pocket yeah, living. Man. Where Keep you that find tape going, of man. me playing? <laughs> YouTube? Oh, man. I got oh, okay. it off your piss age, <laughs> Probably. baby. It's not working, know. thank God. I, I, I kinda <laughs> put, it was a weird way I pulled it. Is it, is it not going to work? It's Dang. Yes. <laughs> Y'all do, didn't want to see that shit. Do you have a way shit? to go no to Facebook? Way. Let's get some of that. Let's get some of that uh, table drum shit. Oh, really? It won't play. You don't got no table drum? For me and him. Uh, let's get it. Table going. drum. Let's get it. Let's get it. Table drum. <clears throat> table drum. First time ever on Morris Media. Table drum. Come back Mike, on that Mike, one. Mike, That's a George. Mike, 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 that's what it sound like in the penitentiary right now. Uh, Niggas out there yeah, rehearsing yeah. their shit. That's some lunch table shit right there. Yeah. That's where that's where hip hop started on lunch yeah. table. Started on trust, yeah. trust that. It started Look, on lunch we table. used to just bag on each other, beating on my friend's dad's Cadillac to beats. This is like in '73 mm-hmm. before hip hop. Just bagging in '73. '73. Rhyming if you don't and bagging cut it out. If you don't and beating on the seventy three. That's, that's what, what Gil Scott here was doing. Gil Scott yeah. was just talking. Last I mean, poets, it was just yeah, yeah. About. Rap been around a long ass Curtis time. Curtis Mayfield, it's been around forever. It's all long all this stuff come back that's to the gangster. motherland. It's music for sure, yeah. man. Yeah. Hey man, well look, y'all, we had an hour, man. Damn. I say this every week, how fast it goes. It's over. Um, but it's over, man. Damn. Let's go around the table before we bounce out of here. Tell me what y'all got going on. Melrose just opened a shop, Black Hollywood. We got to give some shouts to that. Hey man, it's the only Black nigga Hollywood. with a fucking stage in his barbershop, man. I love it, dude. That's dope. I performed on stage it Stage in the barbershop, club in the back. It's cracking. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, I'm just uh, excited about everything that's happening. Uh, you know, Black Hollywood, man. It is official as of right now. And most importantly... Uh, black economics. I got my son working with me, so you know, like life is how you good do right it. now, man. That's address so it. we can patronize. Eighty nine sixteen. First time I released the address publicly. Eighty nine sixteen. We ready to rock and roll. Eighty nine sixteen Western Boulevard. We keep it uh, hood oriented, but like I said, man, it's one of the safest and most secure places you ever gonna enter. It's almost like coming in this motherfucker, nigga. We gotta let you in the gate, nigga. We Straight. in an <laughs> undisclosed location right here, motherfucker. This yeah, like I was just saying, like, it's like the mm, back cave. It is the back cave. <laughs> All right, man. I'm Mike Robertson, y'all. Uh, thanks for joining again. Uh, we took a week off last week. Um, I was out of town. Felt like forever. So glad to be back. Thanks for listening. Love you guys. Find me on a stage near you. Um, that's what it do. Oh, I'm at King Mike Boogie on all of my stuff. 
Word up. Dewan Brown, D W A N N Brown on Facebook. Uh, Dewan B, Instagram, and uh, goddamn Twitter. What's that called? Yeah, Twitter and shit. Fuck and, uh, Twitter, dude. I don't even I don't want to be on Twitter like no that that much either. anymore. But I'll be on Facebook, sportsandthings.com. But I'm actually about to change that website, too, to another name. Cause really? I don't give a fuck about sports like I used to because it's all kind of other shit to talk about right now. <laughs> so all kind of other shit and things? Yeah, yeah it's all kind of <laughs> other shit and things, things because, like, it's all kind of stuff going on in the world. I don't want to give, give a damn about LeBron James' hairline anymore. Yeah, you know what I mean? Easy. So, hey. Yeah, but, I'm with you on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, JMD. You can catch me at JMD135 on Instagram. I got a Facebook, but I'm more interested on Instagram because I can be more artistic. But working with my man, Bus Driver, building, trying to get this uh, with this next generation of the cats. Uh, shout out to Kamasi Washington, mm-hmm. Terrace Martin. Changing music. Uh, yeah, changing music. Hey, Joseph Lyonberg, all the young Thundercat. lions out there. Thundercat doing the most. Ronald Bruno Jr., mm-hmm. Lamert Park, Them all, all the my OGs. Cats, man, the OG polyester player niggas. That's right, all the OGs. Kamasi and all them dudes. Uh, all of them dudes. So, yo, know, and my music. band, Underground Railroad, the originators of this shit, way before the roots, before all of them, Freestyle Fellowship. Far side, oh, that's dope. That's all dope. of that. Couch of Jeep Productions, you know? <laughs> and my my good friend, the one who put us on first, uh, the lovely poetess back uh, there. Enough respect, Queen. <laughs> all right, you to guys. The poetess. All right, man. Much love, y'all. Thanks for tuning in once again. See y'all yeah. next week. Holler back. One hundred. One 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 hundred. Like he said, hey hey, I'll take the.